In the fast-changing world of science, smart people keep breaking new ground quicker than ever. Even though it's only a few months into 2024, we've already stumbled upon some mind-blowing discoveries from all sorts of areas. And guess what? We're diving into them right now. Let's get started. Digging through data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, PhD student Alexia Lopez made a jaw-dropping discovery while studying the far-off universe. A whopping 9.2 billion light-years away lies an enormous circle of galactic clusters, dubbed the Big Ring. Picture this. It stretches over 1.3 billion light-years in diameter and spans a mind-boggling 4 billion light-years around. But here's the kicker. Its existence challenges some big ideas in cosmology. To grasp how this ring is shaking up the world of astrophysics, let's rewind all the way back to the Big Bang. Yep, we're going way back. After the bang, the universe was like a dense ocean of plasma. Waves rippled through, creating peaks and valleys, known as Baryon Acoustic Oscillation, BAO. It's thought that these waves sculpted how matter is spread across the universe today, and even the patterns in cosmic microwave background radiation. Now, here's the hitch. Our Big Bang studies and models suggest that cosmic structures shouldn't exceed about 1.2 billion light years. Sounds good, right? Except we're finding things like the Big Ring that break this rule, and it gets weirder. The Big Ring isn't alone in pushing boundaries. Enter its cosmic buddy, discovered in 2021, the giant arc in the sky, also found by Alexia Lopez. Some say the giant arc might even outsize the Big Ring, stretching a whopping 3.3 billion light years. But here's the twist. It doesn't form a complete circle like its newfound friend. Let's put their enormity into perspective. Our Milky Way hangs out in the Laniakea supercluster, about 520 million light years across. But even with its 100,000 galaxies, it's tiny compared to the Big Ring. And the giant arc? If it were visible, it would span the space of 20 full moons lined up. Overall, it covers about one-fifth of the whole visible universe. Now, with the Big Ring joining the Cosmic Party in 2024, we've got two gigantic mysteries on our hands. These massive structures, the Big Ring and the Giant Arc, are like cosmic enigmas that refuse to be explained. As Lopez points out, their colossal sizes, peculiar shapes, and close proximity to each other scream out for attention. But what's the big secret they're hiding? Batteries are the unsung heroes of our modern world. They power everything from our smartphones to our cars, keeping our lives running smoothly. But as convenient as they are, they come with their own set of problems. Take lithium, for example, a vital ingredient in electric car batteries. Getting hold of it involves mining, which wreaks havoc on the environment. Lithium mining is no walk in the park. It involves using harsh chemicals that poison the land and water, leading to deforestation and other disasters. And here's the kicker. While electric cars are cleaner to run, making their batteries is actually quite dirty. Plus, lithium isn't an endless resource. Sooner or later, we'll run out, and getting more will only get harder and more expensive. But fear not, there's hope on the horizon. Researchers in Australia and China have made some groundbreaking discoveries in battery tech. They've come up with alternatives that could change the game entirely, making batteries cheaper and more eco-friendly. The Aussie team, led by experts from the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology, have created what they call water batteries. These babies use water as their secret sauce with a pinch of salt thrown in. They call them aqueous metal ion batteries, and they're a game changer. Unlike traditional batteries, once their water-based juice runs out, you can just top them up. No more worrying about toxic chemicals or fiery explosions. And to top it all off, they're a lot cheaper too. So far, the team has been busy creating prototypes of all sorts of small-scale batteries, like those tiny ones you find in watches, or the trusty AA ones. These batteries aren't your average Joe. They can be recharged over 500 times and still keep about 80% of their juice after more than 700 charges. How do they do it? Well, the secret sauce lies in rust. You see, normally, these tiny metal spikes called dendrites pop up in batteries over time, messing with their performance. But this team found a way to stop them in their tracks by rusting the battery surface with a bit of bismuth, preventing those pesky spikes from forming. Meanwhile, across the globe in China, another team had their eureka moment, calcium. 
These scientists from Fudan University have cooked up a calcium-based battery that can handle a whopping 700 recharge cycles. And here's the kicker. Calcium is way more common than lithium. It's like 2,500 times more abundant, making up a solid 4% of the Earth's crust. If they can boost the number of recharge cycles and beef up their power, we're looking at a much cheaper alternative to our good old lithium ion buddies. But wait, there's more. Turns out, calcium batteries are super flexible. Yep, you heard that right. The folks behind these batteries showed that they can weave them into thin fabrics, like the stuff your everyday clothes are made of. Imagine wearable gadgets blending right into your wardrobe. And here's the cherry on top. There's this thing called the calcium oxygen battery, which could be a game changer. It's like the king of all batteries packing the most punch. It would suck oxygen from the air to power up, which sounds straight out of a sci-fi flick. But here's the catch. These babies aren't quite stable at room temperature yet, so they need more energy to keep them going than they can dish out. Still, with these water and calcium batteries hitting the scene in 20 to 24, the future of energy is looking brighter than ever. Back in 2016, a team delving into data from the Hubble Space Telescope, working on the Grand Candles project, stumbled upon something extraordinary. They found a galaxy named GNZ11, estimated to have existed a mind-blowing 13.4 billion years ago, just a blink after the Big Bang. At that moment, it snatched the title of the oldest known galaxy in the universe, sitting far away in the cosmic expanse. Fast forward to today, and teams tinkering with the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have pinpointed a few possible galaxies even farther out, dimming the spotlight on GNZ11 over time. Yet, the JWST isn't just about peering deeper into space, it's also handy for giving Hubble's discoveries a second look, fine-tuning our understanding with better data. And that's precisely what a gang of stargazers did in January 2024. They trained the JWST on GNZ11 once more, but this time, it wasn't the galaxy stealing the show. It was the black hole at its heart. This black hole, now deemed the universe's eldest, sparked a fresh wave of astonishment among researchers. It's not just its age that's staggering. Much of that was old news by now. What really blew minds was its colossal size, a puzzle that doesn't quite fit with its supposed age. So what's the deal with this ancient black hole that's got scientists scratching their heads? Well, it's not just any black hole. It's the granddaddy of them all, lurking in the depths of the universe. And its size? Mind-blowing, to say the least. And it's not matching up with what we thought we knew about aging. Intriguing, right? So if you're as fascinated by the wonders of space as we are, hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey.